Okay. Mm. Uh, and he starts, you know, looking towards the door, expecting you all to leave. And we're just standing here. So I have a lot of work to do, so I suggest you begin your investigation. I yeah, man. I mean, especially if all your like your help is not showing up to work because they're worried about getting eaten by griffins. Yes. Let's uh. Let's uh leave the old duke to his uh duke old duties. Yes. That sounds like a. Good we'll plan. be expedient. So as we're walking away, I go a curious theology. They claim that Aga gives and takes away, and yet they worry and try to avoid their death. You think if the griffin was really taking them, they just accept it as Aga's blessing. I just mumble something about serial killers <laughs> as we're walking away. No, no man, like, if, if you, like, try to avoid the griffin and then you don't get taken by the griffin, griffin is not also Aga's will? Nature. Ah. I don't see what's wrong with this. Like, the whole thing. <laughs> this no. is why the duality of the god is so complicated. And I turn back to A as she whispered that and I go, what about serial killers? <laughs> A lovely griffin would never kill anyone. <laughs> 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 oh I believe Kai's would weigh in, but he's outside. Killer. <sighs> I believe a a may have a point. I'm sure that hey, Kai, do you want to crack that door? Yeah, I'm actually oh, yeah. I'm actually curious about that. Like, do we know like are griffins in this world like considered monstrous? Are there anybody um, that rides I believe them? this is a great time for <laughs> the ranger to spout lore about griffins. The ranger yeah. who would never speak uh, down on any living creature is going to tell you about whether griffins are good in this world, right, <laughs> or not. Griffins are magnificent creatures that only eat to survive. They would never hunt down pretty ladies randomly. That's weird. That's obviously a serial killer human thing to do. Or it does seem it does seem peculiar that. Have you guys come outside? The, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. The, the 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 duke has pretty made it pretty clear he wants you to leave his. It family. seems peculiar that a griffin would choose a human when it has all the abundance available in nature. At its disposal. Absolutely. That's true. Yeah, this is like cows. Fish and cows. There must yeah. be there must be something more to this than just uh, sustenance. Walking along down the hill because the manor is up on a hill towards the the main area no, of Gunta Sil. <laughs> you look around and you see the fields of the region of Gunta, and yes, there are many different farm animals: mm -hmm. sheep, goat, and cows line the fields. It's a bigger Abundance. kill. Why take humans? It's a good point. Humans yeah. fight back too, man. Sheep's not gonna fight back. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna also, stop by. Are there any mountains in the region? Like any really tall? No. Nope. There's some nope. hills up. So it's highly unlikely region. that a griffin would be. It is. It's really highly this unlikely a, that a griffin would be around. Yeah. This is like the more area. flat, rolling hills. Um, plus, I'm just gonna stop by the conquest, which nature knows not of. I'm gonna stop by the general store and pick up that torch and the tender, if possible. Sure. I would like two coin. Two coin. All right. No, one coin. One coin? Okay. Yeah. There's like a stick. We're, so, we're celebs line. around here, so. Yeah, yeah uh, did we divvy up the coin? How does so that work? I can get a torch. Don't just don't worry. And like a okay. yeah, sure. okay. Okay. I'll hold on to it for buttons. us. I wouldn't want you to be over encumbered. Uh huh. Yeah, man. Fly, if anybody's <laughs> going to not misplace it, it's probably going to be you. Does it add in? Yes, I keep good track of what? Oh, there it is. Okay. Very good track. So you guys, so like, I guess we go to the toppling troll. I mean, speaking mm -hmm. of sustenance, I could. Uh, well, we should seek out Duncan to see if he just about Dorn. Horse. Dorn, if he knows anything about Dorn the attack. Dorn is at the toppling troll. Okay. Perfect. Yes, yeah, so I think if Dorn can My maybe shed some light on this situation, sustenance. we can find out why a griffin would need a human, particularly a pretty lady. If it was all ladies. It definitely would have nothing to do with <laughs> sustenance. Pretty ladies, don't forget. No ugly ones, at least according <laughs> to the Duke. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully they'll be pretty once we find them as well. It matters not. I want to know what poor girl is walking around the village. Yeah. It's, like <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to hurt my self-esteem. <laughs> oh, All my friends are or, gone. That or means I'm the ugliest. Or, or she's just like, yeah! <laughs> I hey, knew it would pay off. Hey, I hate the riches. 
we could just have that resolved them by this saying whole time. Like, like every, now I'm queen. Every lady in this town is pretty. <laughs> she's she's like, like every single one of them. All five of them. That there's are only, there's <laughs> only there's only five ladies in this whole town. She's like beauty is pain, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So you end up head to the toppling troll. You head up to the top. Head into the toppling troll. It is quite empty at this time of day because it's midday and most of the town folk are scared about walking outside because of the griffin. Mm. Um, are the, the griffins are diurnal, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, so a, a large, big bearded man is oh. currently mussing around <laughs> in the back. Um, he doesn't notice you coming in. A bear growls at him. Ho, oh, barkeep! <laughs> An ale! Oh, Griffin, no! No! <laughs> Yo! Oh, it's Yo! You're at Ool it, man. Bear That's fit like a the bear. Yeah. Is it a small I, bear? A bear! No, it's actually a, a bear! bear. Yo. Bear! Yo, yo, cool And he starts, it, like, like, pulling cool out a blade. It's a bear! <laughs> It's a bear! <laughs> Obviously riding it's the just bear. a bear. Uh, oh, you're riding the, the bear. Yeah. <laughs> the bear growled at you because you were bearded. <laughs> it doesn't like beards. I'm sorry. It's Is okay that... with my chops, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He uh, points his sword at you on top of the bear. Know. Is that bear house trained? <laughs> no, the bear likes beards. Does the bear need to be house trained? Do you have a problem with that? And the bear growls at you again. <laughs> like, barely poops at all, man. Barely. <laughs> Name's Horgle. I'm the tavern keeper of the Toppling Troll. Horgle? Kuma. What can I help you all with? Would you like a drink? Yeah. Yes. An ale, please. Pour as you want an ale. There you go. That'll be one coin. You know, I'll keep a tap for the rest of the night. Good choice. Yeah. How about you keep a tap for a few weeks? I'm taking care of your griffin problem, after all. Oh, you're the griffin aunties. Hunters. You might want to. Oh, I mean, you're the adventurers that uh, uh, Falstaff turned out. Everyone's been scared, and he keeps on saying that adventurers are on the way. The Griffin Hunters, he calls you all. Mm-hmm. And now, have you actually seen the Griffin? No, but I saw a large bird, which could be it. Mm-hmm. Dude, birds are tricky, man. <laughs> Where's the young boy called Dorn? We have Dorn need to speak is to up him. in his room. Possibly studying, possibly sleeping. I do not know. He what? lives in the inn? He is here for the time being. Uh, Falstaff told him to stay up here. He did not want to risk the only one who's seen the griffin to be taken by the griffin. So he's staying up here before Dorn going down lady. to... No, I don't Dorn think he a has guy. a problem then. What does the boy study? Oh, um... He studies, uh... Shit. <laughs> I didn't think you would ask that question. He studies animals. Uh, Zeno he studies... <laughs> he studies, uh... Mathematics. No, he studies, uh, the forest. <laughs> he has books on mushrooms. Horticulture? Trees. Horticulture. That's it. Yeah. Wants Stupid to, be... to study something that's gonna burn eventually. <laughs> uh, yes. I can bring him down. very useful when in the wild for long periods of time. I can bring him down if you wish. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Um, he steps up the stairs and you can hear him stomping around and knocking on a door. Um, eventually he walks down and behind him is a tall, muscular, attractive young man. <laughs> he, yeah, he is attractive. That's important. You all notice that he is attractive. Uh, he has the attractive tag. Yeah. Um, you know, short. Beauties in the height of the older. Is excellent. Now I see why they worried hair, he would be taken. Startling brown eyes and a chiseled chin. What does the bear think of him? Now I see why he was with the maiden. <laughs> yes, that's what we want to know. Ah, Dorn, this is the Griffin Hunters. And Dor- uh, Griffin Hunters, this is Dorn. He says, ah, hey, yes, hello, everyone. You. How are you? Jesus. I'll have a. I'll have an ale. And I look down at you and I look at my scars. And Orgel go, grabs a maiden. I have no competition. This man has not sacrificed anything close to me. He You're still has. Hot. My He's bear hot. walks up to him and smells him. He sniffs him. kind of hot. He doesn't smell like a fire. He has like a, maybe like a yeah. bag. He has a bag of mushrooms in his pocket. Ooh. I think the bear would go after that. <laughs> yeah. Bear, bear, bear knows, knows okay. some good mushrooms. He, he quickly, <laughs> upon seeing what the bear wants, <laughs> empties them onto the ground. Can my bear eat those? <laughs> he poisoned my bear. Yes, yes. Those are normal eating mushrooms. He is a bear. Not his, poisonous. His nose is strong. I, I carry them around. Also, his stomach. 
And his so, uh, <laughs> Griffin hunters. Don't have to feed. Yes, the bear don't. Now. Well, that's <laughs> that's like the idea. We have you never have to feed the bear. That we would like to ask you sustenance. about the events that took place when you saw the griffin. Yeah, yeah, I saw a griffin. Now, you certainly was a griffin. Yep. And had a body of a horse and wings of a you, bird. Can you tell me what that doesn't sound quite right? What were you mm, doing? Hold on a second. What were you doing when you were encountered um, by this griffin? So, I had always had feelings for Celia ever since we were young, and I was actually at the bar down in, or the tavern in, um, oh God, what's the southern town called? I'm just going to, all right, Folland. Here, I'm going to quickly write down all the town names and put it on our little map there. Hmm. Since you learned them all. They're in my book. West Isle. With small misspellings, of course. They're, they're in my book. Perfectly spelled. Mispron- <laughs> I see, and, and whenever we talk, we're, we, there's a little bit of confusion. Yeah. Somehow we manage to hold conversation. But... It works, but we're definitely on opposite sides the of the The Church of Aga in the center. Aga, Aga, Aga. Eastliff. Eastcliff, yeah. We have Eastliff, <laughs> Tropping Toll. <laughs> Toppling troll. Toppling troll. <laughs> yeah. Gun tried. That's a good to see. So listen, listen. No, no, no. You were, you were talking mean, about Thor. tavern? Yeah, tavern. yeah, yeah. Uh, I was um, down in Folent with Celia. We were at the um, the the lady at large. The lady at large. Perfect characterization to have when you're too you're upside down of everything. Which is the tavern down there. I was just having a drink with the with the boys. Um, with some friends there. Well, after a long day of work in the field. With the lads. Yeah, with the lads. When she walked in there, and uh, she was looking a little different. I'll admit, she is, was a farm girl. She wore clothing from here to there. But when she walked in, I had never seen so much skin on a lady. <laughs> like, extra layers of skin. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she walked straight up to the bar, ordered the biggest drink, and started dr- downing it like I've never seen before. It was as if she hadn't had a drink in years. I, of course, walked up next to her and started t- talking to her, and we were hitting it off. It was crazy. It was nothing like the Celia I've knew in the, known in the past. Mm. Anyways, we hit it off quite well, and we were headed out into the fields so I could show her the stars. And then at that point, it's when this giant beast came out from the sky and snatched her away. I came running back into the lady at large, and I screamed, A griffin! A griffin! A griffin has taken Celia! And that's when me and the lads grabbed our pitchforks and our torches, and we went out searching for it. We unfortunately did not find it. Did you... Nobody was ever found? No, nobody was found. What direction did it fly off into? East. We flew off in the east. Towards okay. East Cliff? Towards East Cliff, yes. <laughs> Was I imagine it makes a nest in, you know, the cliffs. in the cliffs. So tell me, young Dorn, with your lady love gone, and I lean in, what now fuels the flames of your desire? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> this is actually yeah, one of my moves. Uh, I'm going to tell you no matter what. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My my sm- my searing ember eyes force him to like answer truthfully. <laughs> I, 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 I wish I wish to take up my sword that my father hides away in his chests and make to the city to become an adventurer. Yeah. That was weird. Dime a dozen. <laughs> Dime a dozen adventures around this part. If you feel like doing that, you might want to give a piece of yourself to the firefire first, grant you protection. I can perform the ceremony oh. for you if you'd like. Oh no. Oh 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 no, I'm I have the protection of Aga. I am f- I'm fine. I don't need... <laughs> and Aga's doing a great job of protecting all those young girls, isn't she? Mm. Well, you know... Aga works in mysterious ways. She's a goddess of life and death, not a goddess of... Griffins. Ah. Anyways, yeah, the, it, it was huge. It had the body of a horse. Uh, giant wings. Mm. And, and, and the face of a lion. And I turn to A and I go, A, does that sound like any griffin you've ever heard of? It's not. No. 
It doesn't seem like Griffins don't have Griffin. parkour or something. Do you, no, they don't. You just you just tell them tell everybody that. Uh, that doesn't sound correct at all. You know, there's an excellent like old ballad. Lion. Oh. <laughs> Elias, Mithwinar, <laughs> an elven warrior, who rode a griffin. The griffin was always said to have the body of a lion mm-hmm. and the head of an eagle. Sounds like you uh, didn't actually see a griffin, young Dorn. Uh, ho, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> Listen, Dorn, Dorn, buddy, 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 Dorn. Your good Why looks aren't going to get you out of this, so... Why don't you start fessing up to... You have to believe me. We don't. <laughs> Sadly, Listen. that moment's passed. You're mm. right. It wasn't a griffin. Okay. Everything I said up to going into the field is true. As soon as soon as she started taking off her clothes, I I saw something. <laughs> Go on. You mean like on her body? <laughs> Those would be Was it? the female parts. <laughs> <laughs> Normally they are covered by cloth. <laughs> her skin slid off. Ooh. Enticing. That's <laughs> it, it was as if it was rotting from the inside. Yeah, Wally, weird. <laughs> More to burn. Her entire arm slid off, and all that was left was was her skeleton. <laughs> I raised my blade and stabbed, but there was no blood. You had a blade with you out in the fields. That's, I made a dagger, a works tool. Why so what did you do? Tell the scream and ran. No one would. Believe yeah, they would think he had murdered her. Which, by the way, if you did murder her... <laughs> I didn't! What did you do? I didn't! You, you, you think I, this I sniveling fool could murder I anyone? Why don't you lead us to the gone. place where this happened? To see if there's a mound there. Yeah, is the, like, skin still sitting there on the ground? I don't know. It wasn't there when I came, when I came back. I, 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 I led... I led the villagers to another part. So they wanted to see the skin. Wanted to see what was left, and when I came back to deal with it later, it was already gone. Whoa. So she might still be like wandering around or something? Oh. I didn't kill her, I swear. You should Please. get used to such things if you're going to be an adventurer. I, I did it. I didn't. I did it. The killing, I mean, not skin sliding off. Listen, Although that too. Listen, don't. Let me be frank with you. We. Are on your side, but you need to tell me the truth. Okay. I'll, tell you the truth. I'll show you. I'll show you. Mm-hmm. Um, it's far into the, in the fields of Full End, but we can travel there safely because I don't know if there's a griffin. My bear yeah. will use guard. <laughs> pretty, pretty clearly, <laughs> there's not a griffin. <laughs> so he shows you on the path to <clears throat> Full End. Which a path leads, no. or a, a road leads from Guntasil through to the Church of Aga and from there to Fulland. He leads you on along the there. road, and as you're heading towards there through the rolling hills, you see in the distance a, a great church. Um, it is a little bit unusual in that it looks to be a church that's completely circle, completely a circle, mm. with a single tower in the center. Like it's like it's a wall built in a circle. It's, uh, here, maybe I can draw a picture. The building is circular. Oh, like a dome. No. Okay. It's like the Pentagon, but not a Pentagon. It's a circle. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Okay, so like a Coliseum, except not as high. And there's a tower in the center. I see. So it looks like a layer cake, almost. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could say that. Okay. With, like, a roof going around that way. Mm-hmm. Are there bones there's outside a the doorway? Draw. I have heard yeah. of these before. And then there's like windows. And then it looks a like a food processor. <laughs> yeah, it does sort of. Or like a know. salad spinner. <laughs> like a rice cooker. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's, it's an interesting circular building. And so as uh, uh, like Dorn is screen. leading you uh, towards Fall Ant, he uses motion swords like, this is the lovely church of Aga. Where... We all go there to pray about once a week. 
and then he leads you along the rest of the road to Folance, a town smaller than Guntaso, but again, most of the same. Uh, he... So I have actually been to Folance before. Oh, you have? Yeah. Okay. Way back in the past, I just happened to pass through in my traveling. I did not go to, to the Church of Aga or to Guntaso, but I, I spent some time in Folance. Okay. Uh, and how has it changed since the last time I was here? And this was probably 15 years ago. It's been a while. Um, How old is Joachim? Old enough. Dude, I don't ask you questions. How has it changed? You ask me many questions. Oh, okay. Not that I can Um, answer very well. I'm thinking of like... (laughs) like It's a little little bit (laughs) bigger than it was before. It's a lot more... uh, There's more buildings than there was before. Like before it was just like a... It was barely considered a village. Now it's kind of more like a town. So it seems to be doing very well lately. Um, So... He leads you to Lady at Large, where he shows a tavern. Like, this is where uh, we met in, and had some drinks. And then he shows you to the field, a nearby wheat field. And uh, he wa- shows you this, like, kind of path through the field into a little kind of opening. He's like, this is a nice spot that we would have laid to watch the stars. And it With is- your clothes off. <laughs> I understand. The days can be hot where I come from. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. Hot. Uh, it was a very hot, sweaty too. Summer, fiery evening, yeah. where we could just look at the stars. I lay down on the ground and look at the stars. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable, and it's also midday, so you don't see. <laughs> <laughs> Does, oh wait, no, it's it's approaching it's approaching sunset. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I look, look I up and are blinded star. by yeah. the sun. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look around Does, the area. Does my skin slide off? <laughs> um, Roll for that.